morning <laughs> to bipolar weather. It is cold this morning. It was nice last night. Like, I even turned the heaters off. <laughs> it was warm yesterday. And now it's flurry in the snow. It's normal bipolar weather around here. <sighs> then I had to hurry and get my my heathen child back inside because there was a a tree on the fence. And I was like, you can't be getting out the fence and running around the neighborhood. So <laughs> I had to, to get that something going there but <clears throat> so I'm running behind which I was running behind anyway thank that's my thing right now I have weeks like that that it's it's a real big struggle <laughs> to get to get going and stuff but if you're busy you're worn out that's you're successful that's great you're prosperous but <laughs> being mean I just I don't I'm doing important things I'm concerned about Nikki and what Nikki's doing you know I'm not worried about what everybody else is doing like I'm my focus is my goals and my dreams and when you're going after your dreams and everything that's where your focus needs to be that's where it's going to have to be because if you're worried about everybody else and you're worried about everybody else's approval you're not going to get anywhere because like i've mentioned before god has not shown your goals your dreams your life 
to everybody else. They don't see it. They don't know. Just like I've mentioned before of having, you know, people think that I can't do this. I can't have a bookstore. Have one. You know, like you cannot listen to other people. Even people that love you and are, you know, in their mind, they're trying to help you. You cannot, you have to take everything with a grain of salt, okay? You have to focus on what God's given you. Hold tight to that and focus on your journey. Focus on the road in front of you, putting one foot in front of the other. Don't be worried about the rest of that. Especially don't be worried about people mad because there's going to be people try to mess it up. There's going to be people that's jealous and they're going to try their best to just rant and rave and I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. Like, we we Christian people have a lot to be praying for. I mean, there's people out there that are miserable and they're mad and they're upset and they hate everybody and they want to see everybody fail and they need help. And the only help for all of us in any situation is Jesus. Jesus is the answer to everything. And I'm living proof of that. I'm living proof he's the answer and he will help you. I shouldn't even be here. I shouldn't even be alive right now, truly, based off of the crazy stuff that I've done in my life. But God had better plans for me. God has better plans for you and God loves you. I don't care what you've done. I don't care how you feel about yourself. God loves you and you need to realize that and you need to love yourself. That's where every bit of it starts. People are running around and they hate their selves and I'm like, you have to forgive yourself. You have to move on. You have to let go and be happy. And then maybe you're going to start wanting other people to be happy too. And that's what we all should do. That's what I want to encourage other people to do. Anybody that might watch this. Be happy. And be happy for other people. I mean, there's no sense whatsoever in any of us running around with our head down or being upset. It's foolish. You're giving the devil exactly what he wants. Come on now. Get it together. Well, we're going to line up on the highway today. <laughs> but I love you guys. I hope you're doing well. I'll be praying for you. Please be praying for me. Be happy. Go out there and share happiness. Be happy for other people. Come on now. But hopefully, I will see you all soon. See you later.